Now let's define another common pattern of partial differential equations of fluid mechanics. This is called the curl. Let's look back at our vector f with x, y, and z components p, q, and r respectively. We can define the curl, also called the rotation, of f as follows. Now, if you pay close attention to this combination of partial differential equations, you'll notice that there is a bit of a pattern between the PQ and R and the terms in the I, J, and K components of this vector, respectively. The curl can be written in terms of the F, the del operator, as follows. If the divergence is del dot F, the curl will be del cross F, which can also be expressed as the determinant of the following matrix. Again, let's keep in mind that del is not a vector, it is an operator. However, if we treat it as a vector and we take the determinant of the matrix formed by the cross product of del and f, you'll notice that the determinant will actually result in these three terms. So we can define the curl of a function f as simply del cross that function f. Now, if we were to apply our operator f dot del, To its own vector field. In other words, if we take this operator f dot l and we apply it to f itself, we will have the following vector identity. Now, for this class, particularly this lesson, we're not going to go over this application. However, if you were to try to apply it yourself, you'll actually end up at the following formulation. But for now, let's try to remember this as a vector identity. We will go more into detail in the engineering mathematics course that I teach. However, for fluid mechanics, this should be enough. Now, for this vector identity, Let's keep in mind that f without the vector arrow is simply the magnitude of my vector. Let's keep this in mind because we're going to go back to it when we're deriving an equation in a future lesson.